Hello, everybody, and welcome to Crossroads, where we have, as you can see, Inca Una playing as uh, Yobo Commander Vest and his opponent, Skeletron 9000! Well, just Skeletron, playing as the Soviet Union. And Inca Una, he has already locked in Grand Offensive Doctrine here. He might know some of uh, Skeletron's tricks. Those tricks being scout cars, scout cars, scout cars. Anywho, Skeletron, he's bringing along with him a shock rifle, mechanized support, and urban defense. Though it's not really urban out here in the woods. More rural. <clears throat> Bulletins wise, it's a little bit of buff for the armor for the Panzer IV. Wolfsgren and the DS a little more accurate, and they receive less suppression. While Skeletron, his uh, conscripts are being uh, built faster and his penals are more accurate and the scout car is um, faster, both acceleration and also top speed. <clears throat> Did we actually? Yeah. Special rifle command is down. We won't see any penals, however, at least not yet. Or scout cars for that matter. <clears throat> at least in Kahuna... Could get out some uh, Panzerfischerliers for a um, quick enabling snare. Yeah, there we go. The um, anti-tank grenade also has a longer range than um, the Panzerfaust here. So, um, yeah, he's just getting ready for it, the scout car. And speaking of the scout car, it is in production here. <clears throat> I just wonder if he'll be going for... Um, some penals to occupy the scout car, or will he be going for the flamethrower? Putting a whole new meaning to a fire truck. <laughs> well, then again, it's not really a truck. A fire car! Mm -mm -mm. Beep beep! Achtung! Set the Panzerfischerliers here. Yeah. I suspect it won't be long before they'll be diverted to, to um, this side here that we're looking at. Should have a flame for us. No! Still not yet. Well, now he's got the munis for it, but he's not within territory. He must be reversing into his territory just so he can get the flame for upgrade. No? Oh, well, what do you know? He's hunting. And, yeah, okay, he spots a. Uh, Stern Pioneers only... Okay. They are all returning fire. I was just looking at these two guys here. They were not taking aim, but nevertheless, they were still firing. So, magic. <clears throat> green cover versus green cover. Panzer Fusiliers here. It looks like two of the models are not returning fire. So, they should be able to win. Oh, never mind. There we go. Now some more of them are opening fire. But <laughs> now the squad is practically... Uh, well, I was going to say halved, but that's not quite true. <laughs> I only lost two models. And charging out here. Well, at least he's got back up. Drawing fire. As they were probably, um, you know, already had a ticket booked back home. So he might as well just let them draw a little more fire before heading off back home just to get reinforced. Or he could keep them on the field to do a little bit of capping. And have his fingers crossed that he won't see uh, any mines, but... <clears throat> Seeing as there only been one combat engineer that he knows of, and they are on this side of the map, plus he has invested into a flamethrower there, so it is unlikely that there would have been a mine over there where he he is proceeding to capture the VP with only two men. So good on them for not uh, falling over a mine, otherwise that would have been a squat wipe. That's officially is there falling back. In the early stages of uh, the game, it hurts to lose your stun pioneer. <laughs> oh no! As a matter of fact, that's not what I wanted to say. But and losing your stun pioneer squad is hurting. Always, as I was about to say, Panzer Fusiliers have a lower DPS compared to uh, Volksgrenadiers. That is until they get their upgrade here, but. And 80 munition is rather expensive. 
But uh, good uh, pick up there for Skeletron. Sniping off 300 manpower. Take that away from Inca Una. And now we do have penal battalions on the field here. Oh, that's a lot of lots of infantry coming out for Inca Una. He's pushing Skeletron away. Uh, Skeletron going for guards. Why? Is uh, I guess he must prepare for a flag half track. I think that's uh, the reason why. Is there no imminent threats on the field? However, better safe than sorry. Plus, it gives him an extra squad to cap and guard with. Mm -mm -mm. What's cooking, folks? Folks, grenadiers? Well, I'm not a cannibal. But then again, in desperate times, cannibalization has been made by humans. Typically, well, from what I know, probably plane crash survivors in mountains. <clears throat> Nasty business. Anywho, Panzer Fusiliers here, along with the Volks, try to do a little bit of the damage to the uh, scout car. <sighs> oh, and getting flanked at the same time here by the penal squad. Mm, that hurts. At least um, the flag half track is on the field now to help out versus Skeletron's infantry and that pesky scout car. Panzer Fusiliers have been giving their uh, G43 rifles, three of them to be exact. If you haven't already seen Tightrope's video on the G43 rifles, I would highly recommend it. <clears throat> More guards coming in here. Well, that leaves one guard to uh, guard each side, <laughs> making it much harder for the flag half track to maneuver freely onto the battlefield. And Inca Una, he is paying those 300 bucks to get his stern pile back. Oh, vehicle bottomed even. That's a nasty business. Okay, cannot stay. Disengages. Mm, well, at least the stern piles just came online. Just in time to repair the flag half track. Well, it is capable of defending itself versus infantry here, even with when they have the PTRS rifles, but it's a balance that you have to take. Who gets the first shot? And will they be suppressed? Meanwhile, Skeletron is uh, capping just over here and at veterancy 2 as we can see the scout car is capable of capping on its own not having any infantry uh, garrisoned within it <clears throat> well a flame grenade or any grenade should um, make the guards vacate that garrison lots of infantry here boy <laughs> skeletron he is shifting his positioning there and Inkauna turns his um Guns, rifles to the garrison, cutting down all the guards there in a rather rapid manner. And now, what are they doing here? Yeah, retreat. Better do that. Oh, that was the penal battalion. Aha. He has unlocked the grenade package. Um, so he was going for a Molotov grenade there, but... Yeah. Inca Una saw it. Shifted his fire onto the conscripts and just mowed them down. <clears throat> Panzer Shrek. I like it. That ought to help versus this one here. Just needs to hop. Stop. Fire. Fire. Oh, I miss. Never mind. Well, nevertheless, the uh, scout car driver is putting the pedal to the metal as he's trying to make an escape here. Should definitely be able to. Oh, but he's cutting it close, though. He stops just to uh, engage this infantry here, inflicting manpower bleed. Look at all this. Oh, so many dead. <clears throat> and Inca Una continues to invest into uh, 
anti-armor here. That's a lot of AT. Or rather tools to deal with one vehicle here. But the scout car is a fast little speed demon. That goes around and is not going down. Unless you put a stick in its wheel. So we can't escape as easily. Is any help coming out here for these uh, Volskun and Ideas? No. And they're about to get completely overrun. But Inkuna, he calls in the retreat. Nevertheless, he did lose a couple of models there. Despite the... Um, Retreating with what was that? Five models? <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> so, what else? I was considering if Inkona should lay down some mine, but he still needs to get some weapon upgrades in on his uh, Molskun and Adias. Stonegevers, definitely a good upgrade for your Volks. Oh! <laughs> That hurts. <clears throat> Rocket more for targeting infantry. That's uh, something that's, uh, yeah, ineffective. MG on the field here, ready to uh, suppress, even pin the communist infantry. Oh, it's just getting rid of the casualties there. Remember, they do provide vision. Oh, there's my mouse. Just lost it for a brief moment. <laughs> As in, yeah, I got it here in my hand, but, you know, on the screen. The cursor. Oi! Guards gets away. And... Whew, he just needed one shot! Speaking of shots! Run! Reverse! Dive! 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 Arrgh! And the flag track is safe. Meanwhile, the conscripts here. Oh, yeah. Little bit of... Oh, they're not done yet. They have to run through uh, this HMG fire. Ah, speedy boys, aren't they? they managed to evade that. Hmm. Oi, this is their chance to at least snare it. Oh, the Raketenwerfer is there and was ready for the follow-up. Unfortunately, its opening shot missed. And thus, this light scout car continues to be in existence as a functioning car rather than a wreck. Inkuna. Yeah, there's, there it is. Always get some sandbags down, unless there already are some sandbags down for you to use with your Vols Grenadiers. <clears throat> also, we do see Skeletron has planted a couple of fighting positions. In this case, he doesn't need it. There's already readily available green cover here supplied. Oh! Penals? Oh, he gave them PTRS rifles. That's a little um, excessive, I believe. In terms of dealing with the uh, light scout. Uh, well, excuse me, the flag half track. Even though the flag half track has escaped death. But, yeah. I mean, he already had enough PTRS rifles to deal or at least push the flag half track away and I don't like then going for uh, PTRS rifles on your um, penals as it reduces their uh, anti-infantry capabilities oh yeah goodbye <clears throat> Inka Una he has yet to take up yeah he doesn't even have his truck on the field grenade something's going on down there Come on, G43s. Just like that, Inka Una picks up a small victory after having lost his uh, flag half track there. And this one here is still alive. 14 kills. Gee. 
Well, Inkauna, he's about to get some upgrades in terms of vehicles. Going for um, medium tanks, I would assume. Panzerswehr headquarters should be going down. <clears throat> he has gotten a brand spanking new Panzerfusilier squad to replace the um, fallen Volksgrenadiers, and they have also just been given their G40. <clears throat> that G43 rifle making them um, powerful and of course expands the uh, group with one extra man now he just needs to get that um, last weapon upgrade or if he wants to save munitions for an Obersoldat squad getting worth uh, trying to get into position here but the T-34 makes a daring escape well that wasn't really daring that was quite a casual escape just in reverse and back away <clears throat> Sparrow Panzer headquarters just getting in the finishing touch here that's a good place for a grenade Oh, but this Raketenwerfer here, it's in danger of getting uh, circled by these vehicles here. There is, of course, a Panzerstrike there to help out, but yeah, now the retreat has been called, but I fear it's been too late. Yeah, it's, it's dead. And this one Panzerstrike here is not enough to destroy both vehicles. Certainly not. Oh. Again. Skeletron here is. Ooh, he's just. Sl yeah, he's slaughtering in Kahuna's men. God. Abandoned! The scout guy was abandoned! Oh well, at least Skeletron here didn't want it. Instead, he wanted the. Um, the Rakenworth from. Very handy dandy, seeing as he cannot um, get AT guns himself unless he back ticks. <sighs> well, Inkauna, you have very, very little on the field. Skeletron has a bit more, if that's any consolation. <laughs> <clears throat> well, the thing is, with uh, this few units for both teams they ought to be able to micro them effectively <laughs> uh, well Inkauna getting out his um, p4 the da model having a uh, the side skirts improving its armor should have a um the edge versus a uh, single t34 here wonder what skeletron would go for next an SU-85, perhaps, seeing as he, he can't get AT guns? Maybe another conscript squad? Yeah, that grenade didn't do an awful lot, nope. And it's just full retreat here, running across this negative cover. But by the looks of it, they... Oh, there we go. One model dropped. <clears throat> On the hunt, already setting it to prioritize vehicles. Oof. Nope. There we go. It's gone. And Panzer Commander improving the turret's aim. And the vision as well. All right, P4. <laughs> Starting out with a bounce. <laughs> Not the way to go. In fact, Mark Vehicle has been... There it goes. Now it kicks in. Mm. But bounces. This thing is supposed to improve. Nope. I thought it was supposed to improve the uh, penetration as well, but apparently not. More damage from attacking forces. Yeah. More damage only counts if you penetrate. And as we saw, that didn't really uh, happen here. That's the thing with the T-34s. They are kind of unreliable. K 
kinda unreliable when it comes to penetrating the Panzer IV's frontal armor. At least the J model. Whew. Well, this Raketen Warfare here is uh, <laughs> trying its best to get rid of uh, these boys here, and of course the weapon crew returning fire, but yeah. They might as well be firing blanks. Uh, time to go. And the retreat should be called. Yeah. Bye bye. Help is on the way now. God's troops are coming in, but they are about to uh, feel the wrath of the HMG. Okay, they are getting out of there, but nope, they, those guards. Ooh, and then in negative cover. Yeah, pinned. And ooh. After they were pinned, the models dropped like one, two, three. Hello? New Rocket and Warfare on the field here. Skeletron. Well, he has enough fuel to call in another T-34. And... Oh, new Penal Battalions. Not upgrading them with the... Um, PTRS, but then again, he doesn't have the munis for it, but... I don't think he'll be uh, upgrading the PTRS rifles again. Now that he had dealt with the uh, flak half track. However, PTRS rifles still capable of um, doing a little bit of damage now and then. This is the P4. Oh, needs to protect his body. Oh, no. Exposing the rear. Nope. Hitting the shot there. On the front. Oh. Is that a weapon? Ah, uh, they picked it up. <clears throat> Forcing the penals to move, decreasing their accuracy and thus damage per second. Not enough to win the fight though. But Panzer IV is just rolling in there, introducing himself to the conscripts and thus, well, he has already earned some deterrency. Oh, that good shot, good shot. What about the T-34s? They're just getting repaired at the moment. And Inca Una, he is getting out. Another Raketen Warfare. Skeletron still earning. Oh, could he be going for uh, the ISU? I mean, he has all the command points that he needs for it. And he already have two T-34s. Which he is using to hunt down infantry here. <laughs> Though um, they are dodging those shots so far, even a little bit of smoke there, but didn't really see what it was supposed to cover. And retreat, retreat, all AT on deck. You are needed on the right side, as in the left side, which is the right side to be at. Shots fired. Oh, he's getting rid of the... Uh, yeah, HMG lost and completely dismantled. Well, Minkamuna being triple capped. And look at this, without any Vault Grenadiers, he cannot lay down some cover. So he has to rely on uh, the natural covers uh, given to him. Or he can use his Raketen Warfers to uh, try to uh, get some craters going, but eh. they only provide light cover, those craters. But they provide cover in a uh, full circle, unlike most other cover. Whew. Skeletron is expecting visitors on this side by the looks of it. But... Inkauna, he's still going left. Yeah, okay. His Panzer IV has been fully repaired. Now the question is, can it get out of the base? Oh, no, okay. He's going to the right. Ah, yes, I see why. Oh, that positioning there. Does he have enough munitions? No, he does not have enough for a coordinated barrage or rather... Yeah, coordinated barrage. That's the thing it's called. Oh, getting buttoned. There's one AT gun here. He should be able to escape. 
That's a good one. AT gun destroy. Thus, the Svara Panzer headquarters should be safe. There's no way that the guards will go up there and finish it off. Not in that condition when they are lying dead on the ground. Mm, that was a costly attempt for Skeletron to try to take down the Svara Panzer headquarters. Mm, and now, here they come. T-34 is going in. They are prioritizing vehicles, but what are they doing? Pathing? Oh, oh, well, okay, he did go for PGRS rifles on the penals. I'm not sure why, though. Oh, oh. Panzer Shrek. And the Raketen Warfare coming in. We need some snares as well. Oh, ramming! Out of control! Well, at least... In terms of uh, trading resources... That was um, Inca Una who got the most out of that trade. But look at this. Now there is an ISU. 152 assault gun. Heavy assault gun even. And it's probably going up there trying to finish the job. But yeah, double raket and warfers are on the scene. Hmm. Oh, dangerous. <clears throat> I wonder if Inkauna will be going for some armor now that the uh, IS... U is on the field. He's still some... Uh, he's actually uh, far away from the tank in terms of getting fuel. Oof. That's some uh, nasty thing. Uh, four squads of infantry versus only three. Hmm, he should be able to get some land under his control now. Meanwhile, Skeletron is of course rebuilding his army. Both players do have a nice manpower income, seeing as um, their army is quite small. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's not what you need, Inkona. That's not what you need. You need to have those Raketen Warfers alive. Oh, he's going for a third one. Is that going to be a fourth one? No way. I won't believe it if he... Uh... Yeah, okay, he didn't manage to secure it. Thus, still keeping this in production. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If this one here goes down... The Svara Panzer authorization will no longer be enabled, thus this one here cannot be called in. Smoke! Not going to stop it. Now he has to manually target. One more shot is all that he needs and then it's dead. There it is. Will there be any snares on the ISU? Snare? He doesn't have munitions for it. He paid for, for that. And now he has it, but... He's out of range. Oh, that was... That smoke was so costly. Well. Ay, ay, ay. This has left Inkauna in a um, bit of a dilemma here. What will he do now? Will he go for King Tiger? Or will he rebuild his Vera Panzer headquarters? <clears throat> With free AT guns, however, he should still have a ch shot at winning this. Besides, he also has the majority of the VPs. Both uh, in terms of points up there and also points held on the field. Will he go for a triple cap here just to try to pressure him even more? More Panzer Fuses. It's a shame that his Sturmpires aren't over there. They might be able to pick up that weapon. Let's see. I think he might be going for a uh, retreat grenade here. Counter grenade. Well, not exactly a counter grenade. Oh, there it is. On the ground. Bit of damage though, but I think the guards 
could they be winning this they have submachine guns okay they are running and there we go but they do not have any weapons upgrades yet and Inkahuna is just again trying to get some territory under his control truck on the field where is it going back into no come on don't have all day whoop oh no 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 run fire it's going to fire he has to dodge this no splash damage got him and he is indeed going mechanized signaling that it's going to be a king tiger that we'll see if he goes for puma i won't believe it not one bit <clears throat> AG guns ready to fire and to push back the Soviets. Hey, they picked up the uh, PTRS rifle. Not that they have many uh, armor targets to attack. And this T 34 here is just going in, getting in around all these um, rocket morphers. Oh! Nasty shot, lots of kills. Open fire here. Don't think it'll be able to snare though, but. Yeah, he already threw it without the snare being able to kick in. There we go, now it's been snared. I don't think he'll be able to get out of here, but it has done lots of damage. And now, IS 2. Excuse me, IS 152. About to wreck that one. There's still two crew members on it, and it is gone. Infantry still bunched up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Strafing run. Manages to escape the strafing run, but took a nasty shot from the ISU. <clears throat> now. I'm going to try to get a, a VP down here, but when he was met by guards, oh shame that he um, that he was retreating there. Uh, one Panzer Strick might have been able to get the garrison down, but oh well. Oh, what's that Raketen War for? Oh! That was a little risky. Ooh. Well, he's down to two Raketen Warfers. Yeah, we can see one of them wrecked right there. <clears throat> but Inca Una has almost gotten his opponent down to 100 VPs. However, the new T-34 just arrived onto the battlefield here and with Inca Una's fuel income, his situation is dire. <laughs> And at this rate here, it's going to be what? Like a roughly 10 minute or so before he'll have enough fuel to get out a a King Tiger. Is he really okay? Inca Una, he simply surrenders here. Yeah, he was just getting pressured on this side here. Now with 80 guns and well, he simply gives up as Skeletron has managed to push him back down into the hole that he tried to crawl out of. <clears throat> yeah, that's it for this time, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you did. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.